All right, shalom, shalom. Before I get started, I want to give all praise and glory to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahushai Bahashem Rakah Kodash. All right, I want to say double honor to the apostles and Israel Millstone and Shalom Wakasa Laha Bakyar, <laughs> which is a uh, peace and mercy to the elect throughout the four corners wherever you may be. I'm the brother Omar from the branch of GMS Cleveland. Come back at you another lesson. Lord willing to be edifying. And um, I just want to hop into a lesson just concerning, uh, you know, basically following the Lord and, uh, you know, desiring his truth and, you know, fall, you know, you know, keeping the law, statutes, commandments to the best of your abilities and learning about your heritage. You know, you, you should be doing that out of a sincere heart, first and foremost, and you shouldn't be looking for gimmicks. You shouldn't be looking for anything outside of what uh uh Yahweh uh, Yahshua has to offer uh concerning uh these scriptures. You know what I'm saying? And I'm about to get into a lesson just regarding that because the Lord had to cut these uh these individuals that was following him um and they wasn't following him for the right reasons. Like I said, it can be anything, man. If you are individuals that's that's that woke up to your true your true nationality and woke up to you know the truth and your heritage, you should not be in this thing or just following it because of a uh, gimmick. You know what I'm saying whether you found out, you know, you can get a 501c3 and be tax exempt. And but and I got to say this, too, just to add the balance. Now, if you can get a 501c3, you know what I'm saying? And it doesn't, you know, uh, uh, hinder your ability to uh, properly teach the word in all truth and sincerity and not trim your ways. You know what I'm saying? And not be linked uh, to, uh, you know, uh, uh, this world. You know what I'm saying? Which I don't really even see that being possible. So, I, you know, me personally, I just wouldn't do it all together. But if, like I said, if you can find some way to not link the ministry, you know, with this world and this wicked ass uh, system, you know what I'm saying? You can get a tax exemption, you know, tax exemption, you know, <laughs> like I said, and I, and I will say I'm talking about, I will say more so, let me say put it like this, more so if you can get a 501c3 with your own personal business, I'll just put it like that. So just so, you know, there won't be no confusion and just so it won't be no you know what I'm saying if you can get a 501c3 and you have your own personal business that's not linked to the ministry, then get one. You know what I'm saying? But when it concerns the ministry, don't don't even don't even go down that path. I'll just say it like that. So just to clear the air on that. You know what I'm saying? But um anyway, um, so with that being said, let me get these scriptures, man. So I I, I was going I didn't want to read all of this because the point is down down but let me see uh yeah so I'll, I'll start it from 17 just so uh and I'll start from uh I'll start from 16 just like just to cut the time in half because I don't want to be reading from the top all the way down you know what I'm saying to like because the point isn't like around 24 25 but um, you can read this this chapter on your own, but when you read this chapter, this is right after the Lord, uh, you know, performed a miracle with the five loaves, the barley loaves, and the two fishes, and the twelve baskets. You know what I'm saying? What those items were placed in, and He fed that great multitude. So, you know, and then uh, when you read, matter of fact, so I read from 14. Um, so it says, then those men, because I gave you the backdrop, right? You know what I'm saying? And obviously, you see the next uh, the verse above. It goes into, you know, the story. But anyway, it says, uh, John 6 and 14. It says, Then those men, when they had seen the miracle that Yahweh did, said, This is of a truth, that prophet, that should come into the world, right? Because they knew about the Messiah. They knew, uh, you know, the things concerning, you know, the Messiah and the things that, you know, he, he would do and what to look for. So they perceived that that was the Messiah, right? Yahweh Um it says, when Yahweh therefore perceived that they would come and take him by force to make him a king, he departed again into a mountain uh, himself alone. It says, and when he and when evening was now come, his disciples went down unto the sea and entered into a ship and went over the sea toward Capernaum. It says, and it was now dark and Yahweh was now was not come to them. And the sea arose by reason of a great wind that blew. So when they had rowed about five and twenty or thirty furlongs, it says they they see Yahweh walking on the sea and drawing nigh unto the ship, and they were afraid. It says, but he but he said unto them, It is I, be not afraid. Twenty one. 
verse 21 then they willingly received him into into the ship and immediately the ship was at the land whither they went it says uh, the day following when the people which stood on the other side of the sea saw that there was none other boat there save that one where where two his disciples were entered and that Yahweh went not with his disciples into the boat but that his disciples were gone away alone it says albeit there came other boats from Tiberias and I unto the place where they did eat bread. After that, the Lord had given thanks. It says, when the people therefore saw that Yahweh was not there, it says, neither uh, his disciples, they also took shipping and came to Capernaum uh, seeking to uh, Yahweh Shai. It says, and when they had uh, found him on the other side of the sea, they, they said unto him, Rabbi, uh, when camest thou hither? It says, uh, it says, uh, verse 26, it says, Yahweh Shai answered, uh, them and said, Verily, verily, I say unto you, it says, Ye seek me not because ye saw the miracles, but because ye did eat of the loaves and were filled. So Yahweh Shai, he was cutting these these individuals, man, because he had more than the 12 disciples that you, that, you know, that people commonly know about. He had, you know, it says, what was 70, 72, somewhere around there. You know what I'm saying, and then I'm pretty sure you had other, you know, you, had, you even had uh, secret disciples of the Lord. You know what I'm saying? Like Nicodemus is one of them, just the name. Um, but, you know, you have multiple disciples of Yahweh Shai, you know what I'm saying? But he perceived that uh, certain of, uh, you know, these ones, because when you read the, the, towards the end of the chapter, uh, those disciples that was of the Lord, that was not, of the, that wasn't the 12, the 12 stayed, obviously, but the uh, other ones, you know what I'm saying, uh, that was, uh, you know, you read about in this chapter, they they left them. You know what I'm saying? That's when Yahweh Shai perceived these, like, you know, will you leave me also? And he talked to his talked to the disciples and stayed. And then uh, they, then they said that thou has the words of you know eternal life, roughly paraphrasing it. But this is this is the focal point, you know what I'm saying? So I said verse 24, 25 earlier, Salakia. I meant to say 26 and 27. So the point is you you can't be looking for gimmicks, you can't be looking for anything outside of Yahweh Shimi Shah and his words, man. Just, just have your mind focused on his promises and what the scriptures say, man. Why are you trying to, you know what I'm saying? Like, no, man, just focus on the scriptures, man. The Lord said we, he's going to give us all these things that we our hearts desire. But as of right now, man, you know, just focus on the truth, man. Just keep the main thing the main thing, man. And don't be looking for, you know, um, you know to get, you know, money or carnal means or carnal things uh, because you're in this truth, man. You know? And as I said, speaking to myself first and foremost, I, you know, I, I, I the, the word is good enough for me, and then I have the daily bread, Lord willing, y'all by Shemash, I continue to uh, bless brothers to have their daily bread and their daily necessities, but we, you know, we, we, you know, we're just excited about the truth. We just look forward towards the prophecies being fulfilled. We're not looking for nothing else, man. Unlike these individuals. So going back to verse twenty-six, Yahweh Shai answered them and said, "Verily, verily, which is truly, truly, I say unto you, ye seek me not because you saw the miracles, but because ye did eat of the loaves and were filled, man." So here it is: these individuals seen Yahweh Shai do the miracles, and that wasn't enough for them. They, they, they was only concerned with the carnal. Which is that 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 uh, that actual you know meat being fed? You know what I'm saying? Verse twenty seven: Live not for the meat which perisheth, but for that meat which endureth unto everlasting life, which the Son of Man shall give unto you. For him have Yahweh the have Yahweh the Father sealed, man. Which is that security from Satan, man. When you look at the word sealed, so look. Uh, in, in particular, in uh, Second Corinthians one, verse like twenty or twenty one or twenty two. But I'm pretty sure this is the same word. And nonetheless, man, like I said, this is a thing where we, you know, we're not laboring uh, uh, for, uh, you know, carnal things. We're laboring for what the incorruptible crown, which leads me towards, uh, you know, this right here. This is First uh, Corinthians chapter uh, nine and uh, uh, twenty four. It says, it says, know ye not that they which run in a race run all, but one receiveth the prize because uh, this is considered a race. You know what I'm saying? But it's it's not a sprint, it's a marathon, right? It's a marathon is a long, drug out race, you know what I'm saying, that you just pace yourself with. It's not a sprint. If it was a sprint, you know what I'm saying, you you know, you get to the finish line. The the finish line is shorter and it doesn't it doesn't uh it doesn't really uh require uh endurance. You know what I'm saying? You just you know, you you know, you, you boom, you take off, it might be a two 
you know, one, you know, two minute, you know, one or two, maybe even three minute run. You know what I'm saying? And then uh, that's that. But this marathon, this shit can, you know, you got marathons that last for hours. You know what I'm saying? Shit, for some days probably. But this is the this is a race that we're in is we gotta continue to run, which is to continue to be in this ministry, continue to preach the word in truth and sincerity until the Lord comes back. That's the that's the that's the marathon. That's the uh that's the run, that's the race. It says verse twenty five, and every man that's striving for the mastery, it says and is temperate in all things. Now they do it to obtain a corruptible crown, but we an incorruptible man. So we we're doing this for an incorruptible crown. We're we're doing this for a non carnal crown. This is not uh, um, a tangible thing that you uh, that you that you should be doing this for. You know what I'm saying? Well, if I get enough women or enough wives, now that I know I'm an Israelite. If I get enough wives, I'm you know, then I'm I'm good. I'm you know. Or if I get enough money, I you know I'm, I'm from a five hundred one c three or non profit organization. I'm good. You know what I'm saying? If I get enough notoriety, enough clout, you know what I'm saying? I'm good. No man, you don't, to hell with those things, man. Your focus should just be strictly the truth, man. And then whatever the Lord you know happens to bless you with, and you know, and uh, righteousness and according to His will, then so be it. But we're not laboring for an incorruptible crown, unlike a lot of these individuals that know the Israelites and a lot of these sell out two third niggas in this world, man. You know what I'm saying? They want a slice of Babylon. They want to. They want this place to fucking go on as long as they have a cut. No, man. With the men of the Lord, we want this place to literally get destroyed because it's fucking wicked, man. Okay, it's wicked. Twenty six, man. I therefore so run, not as un not as uncertainty. So fight I, not as one that beateth the air. So we're not we're not fighting, you know what I'm saying, for nothing, so to speak, man. You know, and I'm gonna get this in the NOT because it's gonna bring it out a little better. It says, but I keep under my body and bring it into subjection, at least that by any means, when I have preached to others, I myself shall be a castaway, man. So yeah, we're, you know, you don't wanna. You don't want to be a, you know, a castaway. Here it is. You're preaching the word and you're telling people to repent and get right and yada, yada, yada. And then you yourself, you through. You know what I'm saying? No. You want to make sure you're profitable. Matter of fact, I got to get that. You want to make sure you're profitable to yourself first and foremost. And then, you know, uh, to others. You know what I'm saying? You don't, like I said, you don't want to be a hypocrite and you don't want to be an individual that just, you know, like I said, you're profitable to yourself. But not, uh, I mean, you're, you're you're profitable to others, but not to yourself. So, this is Sirach thirty-seven and nineteen. It says, um, it says there is one that is wise and teacheth many, and yet uh, is uh, is unprofitable to himself. Yeah, so you don't want to be that guy. You don't want to be the guy that I just read about, and uh, you know, in, uh, in that last verse in First Corinthians the ninth chapter, bring it back again. It says, but I, but I keep under my body and bring it to, into subjection, at least that by any means, when I, I have, when I have preached to others, I myself should be a castaway. So you yourself have to be disciplined. You yourself have to be keeping what's written in the scriptures, man. You know what I'm saying? And not being a hypocrite and not being, you know, uh, um, you know, uh, a person that on the outside, you, you know, you look holy, you look like you're doing the right thing, but on the inside is dead man bones. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you want to make sure, make, make sure you're being an example of birth in, both in word and in deed. And you know what I'm saying? So let me get this in the NLT. This is uh, 1 Corinthians 9 and uh, 24. It says, don't you realize that in a race, everyone runs, but only one person gets the prize. So run to win. And that's what we're doing. We're running in this race to win. It says all athletes are disciplined in their training. They do it to win a prize that will fade away. But we would do, but we do it for an eternal prize, right? And that, and that eternal prize is that those crowns that we, Lord, when are we gonna get? Which the Lord physically will place upon the uh, the, the 144 uh, heads uh, when they get this, uh, you know, the victory over the beast. And you know what I'm saying, and it's it's going to be a uh, um, eternal prize is what also the kingdom, which comes with that, you know, that that glory, which comes with you know getting the crowns, which comes with. You know, um, you know, you know, righteous praise. You know what I'm saying? So I run with purpose in every step. I am not just shadow boxing. And see, when you're, you know, because I myself, I train in the arts, you know, boxing, you know, all those things. Uh, you know, when you're, when you're, when you're shadow boxing that, you know, that, that's, that's, that's to get conditioned to get in shape. And, but the actual fight, 
you're not fighting anybody. It's just, you know, you're you're working on, you know, your technique, you know what I'm saying? Cardio, things of that nature. But you're not fighting anybody. It's like you're it's like you're basing fighting for nothing, so to speak. But when you fight when you actually fight, you know what I'm saying? It's like you're putting those skills to to use. So basically like, you know, going back to the point, you know what I'm saying? You don't want to be doing this for nothing, so to speak, man. So it's verse 27, I discipline my body like an athlete, training it uh, to do what it, sh- what it should. Otherwise, I fear that after preaching to others, I myself might be disqualified. So, you, so yeah, that's the point, man. You just want to make sure, you know, you you know, you're not you're not in this thing just to, uh, you know, uh, for a carnal or worldly, uh, uh, um, you know, uh, 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 benefit, you know. We we in this thing to actually obtain salvation. This is what this is about. And real soon, man, see these people don't understand it. They don't see the benefit of of this word. They don't see, you know, what we're doing. But we see the bigger picture. Why? Because Yahweh Shimon Shah Shimon has given us the in the uh, the eye sow. He has given us the vision to see that we are on the right path, and then eventually we will be able to cash these spiritual checks in. You know what I'm saying? Or or, or, or withdraw. So I say withdraw. Uh, from our spiritual bank account, man. Um, last scripture, man. This is a uh, wisdom of Solomon five, verse fifteen. But the righteous live forevermore. Their reward also is with the Lord, and the care of them is with the Most High. All right, it's it, and that reward goes in what to the kingdom. It says, therefore, shall they receive a glorious kingdom and a beautiful crown from the Lord's hand, which is physical. All right. It's, and that's the second the second chapter. All right. Towards, you know, like like 38 or 40 on down. It says, uh, for with his right hand shall he cover them and with his right arm he shall protect them. So, yeah, the Lord is going to physically, uh, you know, uh, uh, you know, give us, you know, uh, uh, you know, our heart's desire. You know what I'm saying? Those crowns. You know what I'm saying? So we're we're not doing this for nothing, you know what I'm saying. And, and furthermore, we're not doing this uh to obtain any type of carnal uh, victory on this side. We understand that our lives are hidden with the Lord, and we understand uh ultimately that we're not going to really uh, win on this side. You know what I'm saying? It's just how it is, man. So with that, I'm gonna say shalom.